Trump friend who was running. And he was running and he was running and running and running and he was running as fast as he could run. He was running, or he didn't know why he was running, but he was running fast. And he was running and running and running. He looked back behind him, there were lions and tigers chasing him. Getting closer and closer and closer. These lions and tigers are breathing down his neck, and he's running as fast as he can. He looks back, they're closing on, they're gaining on. Next thing you know, he finds himself standing over the edge of a cliff. He's taking a breath, he looks back behind him, these lions and tigers are gaining on him. He looks out over the edge of the cliff, there's a hundred foot drop with snakes slithering down below. Looks back, lions and tigers, looks out over the edge of the cliff, snakes down below, 100 feet down. He goes over the edge of the cliff and he's falling. He's falling. And as he's falling, he looks up and sees the lions and tigers. He looks down and sees the snakes. Up the lions and tigers, down he sees the snakes. Next thing you know, he grabs onto a branch hanging out the side of the cliff. He takes a breath. He looks up at the lions and tigers. He looks down and sees the snakes. The branch starts to get a little shaky. He looks at the base of the branch. There are three rats gnawing away at the base of the branch. He looks up, he looks down, he looks at the rats, and then for some reason his eyes are drawn to the other edge of the branch where he sees the most beautiful bushel of strawberries he's ever seen in his life. He becomes completely mesmerized by them, reaches out, and he devours them. It's my story. What do you think? Pretty good? I'm going to tell you a story about this story. I'm going to tell you a few stories about this story. I was playing for the New York Football Giants about 10 years ago, and we were uh, having a rough stretch. Uh, we lost three or four games in a row. When you lose three or four games in New York, it's like uh, losing three or four games in Dallas. It's tough. It's tough every single day. And uh, we had a coach at the time who on Fridays would ask one of the players to install these last five plays that we would use. They call them the last five. And different guys would get a chance to do this installation. And, and the idea was they would imitate the coach, they would tell a joke, they would do something during this install that we did every week. 